Are you a gamer or a choker? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. In this video, I'm going to talk about the three types of athletes we see in sports psychology. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So the first type of athlete that we see is the gamer. The gamer is able to raise his or her level of performance in competition. That athlete performs better in competition than they do in practice setting. Well, why does the gamer perform better in games than practice? It's because that's what excites the gamer. That's what gets the gamer going. The gamer lives for competition, for example. And then when they're in practice, it tends to be more boring. They tend to go through the motions and feel like no amount of practice is going to help them perform better in competition. The next type of athlete that we have is the choker. The choker is the athlete we work with the most here at Peak Performance Sports. That's the athlete that performs great in practice, that does very well with their practice routines on a daily basis, that looks like a different player in practice, but when they go to competition, they underperform. Why? They underperform because of fear of failure, anxiety, worry, maybe trying too hard, outcome thinking, worrying about what others think, for example, and then thus they tend to perform more tight, more controlled, and more perfect. And that doesn't always translate to a great performance. The third type of athlete that we see is the steady Eddie or the steady Sally. That athlete performs well in practice, is willing to learn and improve and get better, but also that athlete has a tremendous amount of trust and confidence when they go compete. That means they have the best of both worlds. They have a good work ethic in practice, they do relatively well in practice, they enjoy that part, but then when they go to competition, they don't fold, for example, they don't choke, they tend to perform consistently well in competition. That's your consistent performer. That's the coach's dream. And that's where you want to be as an athlete. You want to be the Steady Eddie or Steady Sally. Which one are you? Please leave it in the comments. Thanks. If you want to continue to improve your mindset, here are two suggested videos for you to watch. On the left is a playlist related to this video, and on the right is a recommended mental training video just for you. To perform your best in competition, you must have mental toughness. Please subscribe to my channel today.